Hey everyone, uh, this is Jonas and in this video I want to explore some of the pitfalls that we can uh, run into if we want to start working with um, motion capture uh, specifically for uh, when using iPySoft um, um, OCAP Studio. So uh, for those of you who don't know it, uh, this is a mo a markerless motion capture software. Uh, so this is uh, the poor main solution, I guess, um, but nevertheless, it can actually produce some pretty okay baseline results uh, that you can practice and work on. So at least that's uh, where I am. So if I select a file I recorded uh, earlier on, um, this is a fairly long uh, clip. We can see that uh, I tracked all the, data, uh, the animation data here uh, of me walking around in my backyard. And I'm doing some different uh, walks and uh, stuff, as you can see. And this was uh, recorded with six cameras uh, set up, and the calibration was a bit off, uh, but I was in a hurry um, because I needed to be somewhere uh, and had to pack everything up. So uh, I didn't have a, ch have a chance to make a second um, uh, calibration take. So this is what I could work with. So anyway, uh, there's a lot of uh, stuff to be done on the feet specifically here, as you can see. Um, but the thing is, this video, I wanted to talk about the process on how to get this stuff into Unreal Engine. Uh, I've talked about it a little bit before, but I wanted to um, return to it because I am going to be spending a little bit more time inside the um, iPy mocap studio in the next few weeks and um, yeah so might as well share some of my experiences uh, so I'm going to call this uh, mocap uh, test so I'm just going to be starting off as I usually do with a third person character uh, example and this is 4.10.4 and uh, to begin with I want to get get the, the character, uh, oh, sorry, my uh, skeleton for the mannequin and I want to export him so I'm, for this I'm gonna drop him in, in this uh, walk practice folder and just hit save so the thing about uh, iPy mocap studio is that you can attach a skeleton when you export it so say this should be mapped to a certain um, character, rig, or whatever you call it. Um, so just to make my th my life a little bit easier, I uh, went ahead and tried to see if I could just pick my uh, my skeleton from uh, Unreal Engine. But the thing is, if, you, if I try to do that, I will end up with a really, really big guy, as you can see here in, uh, in the picture. Um, Let's see if I play this back, uh, like here. It's a huge uh, grey guy floating here. So that's not really going to work. Um, so what I uh, fought with for about two or three evenings uh, is what I have compromised in this video. So we can uh, start off by opening Motion Builder and um, actually going to try something which I haven't tried before and that is by opening up this uh, character in here so if I expand the scene here and I find the, the root and the pelvis I will actually take my pelvis and move uh, repair this to this SK mannequin node and I then just get rid of the root uh, so select uh, the root and select branches and then right click and say delete so it's going to get rid of all that stuff um, so if I hit save now uh, save as uh, and let's call this the no root uh, we don't need that see and let's uh, try and select this character now in iPy mocap studio and it's going to say this 
file is corrupt, so we can't really do that, apparently. So uh, I've been through a lot of uh, different uh, variations of this. So one um, approach which seemed to work, and I'm not entirely sure why. I think it's because if I do this inside Motion Builder, it's going to save uh, in uh, some other stuff which uh, IPy Mocap Studio doesn't like. Um, so anyway, if I uh, start up Maya instead and I uh, import, uh, so I go to my walk practice folder and I just get my mannequin and I go to the window outliner and click this one to see everything is, is there any just to check if there's anything uh, weird in here um, so the, the, the trick is basically the same I'm gonna take my pelvis and I'm gonna uh, sh uh, sh hold down control and then left click the SK mannequin uh, node here and press P. So that's going to parent the pelvis to this weird node here. And then I'm going to hit the root, uh, select the root and hit delete. So it's going to get rid of all that stuff. So now we basically have a, a character without uh, any root, except it has a, the pelvis as a root. Um, so um, now you can export everything and just overwrite this one because that didn't work anyway. Okay. So let's go back inside IPy's uh, mocap studio and this time set character, import, and select no root. So you can see now the character pops in uh, at the right spot. He's going to move around, but he's not animating uh, according to the IPy skeleton here. So what you want to do is now to start off by uh, mapping all these up. Uh, this boring retargeting process that you've been through several times in other softwares probably but uh, I already made, made um, a mapping uh, for this so I'm just gonna get that it's called uh, an IPy transfer it's good. so it's basically just gonna fill out, fill out all these like this so that means that now I have my um, my skeleton animating uh, my gray guy animating according to my movements and let's go ahead and export all that stuff. Um, I think I saved it down here. So I'm going to select FBX and let's just keep that name and export. Okay, so now it's exported. Um, so we can uh, do a few things here because uh, what we need. Uh, to do uh, eventually is to get this animation into Unreal, and when you want, if you want to get this onto the the ske same skeleton here, uh, you're gonna re need um, a root, and you need to be special uh, aware, as a very aware uh, which direction uh, the root is pointing, uh, how it's oriented. So in this case, it's uh, C upwards and the Y axis forward. Uh, so you need to be very careful that this is going to be the same uh, orientation uh, when you get that in because th this was the second part that I spent almost uh, um, close to two evenings uh, alone just struggling with this. Um, so the way I found uh, to make this work is to actually open up my SK mannequin here. So that's the one that we initially uh, exported. So um, now we have the, these uh, IK bones and that stuff uh, back in here. So the thing is, if I try to motion file import my uh, exported FBX from IPy uh, mocap studio and try to merge that, it's going to say it can only match one model. So uh, I'm not interested in that. So um, the trick is, if I take my pelvis and I move that down to the SK mannequin and parent it to here just for a moment um, and then retry the, the import so like this and import so now it can match uh, everything except well, something uh, which I'm not entirely sure what it is, is. so now we have a, a character uh, moving around and uh, that's actually pretty good because all I can do now, I need to do now is take my pelvis and move up to the road again and parent it here. And it's still gonna keep 
the orientation or the yeah it's not gonna flip the, the axis for some reason um, and this one I'm not really sure what uh, is um, doesn't seem to be anything I can delete this one so this is the skin uh, yep and if I were to export this huge file it would take up a lot of uh, space so what I'm just gonna do here is to insert a generic animation track and select my root here it popped up on the other screen it's gonna show a little uh, selection box I'm just gonna select the root and then insert the current take and let's see let's just tick up until here and select the track here and hit the racer and get rid of that select this and frame start and end and plot this back and then we can turn on the stop off the story um, so you will notice that this route is right now stationary it's not moving um, it's something I will take a look at um, next so actually I will not do this right now I will uh, take a step back once um, I have uh, imported this because uh, so first of all we will um, motion file export this and let's just call this uh, walk test and it's going to show up here and let's just take this ipy default take and export it. So now we can uh, finally import this and select the walk test. And just let that import. Okay, so I didn't uh, do anything about trying to fix uh, the ground position, so he's going to stick through the ground. But what is more important is that uh, if we take a look closer look at the um, at the axis here, we can now see that it's actually pointing in the right direction. And if you don't do it exactly the way I do it, you may or may not um, run into a lot of trouble with this. Uh, you may remember. Uh, this funny, um, not so funny actually, uh, depends on how much you struggle with this. But uh, if you have um, played with, uh, for example, the, the default uh, third person idle animation and wanted to combine that with one of the free animation starter pack videos, you will uh, recognize this. So, this is the, the um, product of this uh, mal rotation of the root uh, as you can see because the third person um, standard animations were made with the C axis pointing forward and the Y pointing down so <clears throat> that is what I spent uh, yeah last three two three uh, evenings uh, banging my head into a wall over um, so I have I share this uh, knowledge with you I hope you can uh, put this to good use and just um, leave a comment on my uh, channel if uh, you have questions to whatever I made here. Uh, in the next video I will show how we can uh, create a little template for this if we want to make use of the um, uh, Motion Builder uh, um, control rig. Uh, so stay tuned and see you in the next. Bye.